Reason of Marriage in Banu Zahra Hakim and Abu Naim have narrated that Hadrat Abdul Mutlib said we went on a journey. I stayed with a Jewish scholar. I was asked by one of the people of the book which tribe you belong to. I said Quraysh. He said let me see some of your limbs. I said yes. Except for the pubic area he looked at one side of my nose and then at the other. He said I testify that each reveals on one side of your nose his kingdom and on the other side is prophecy. We all find it in Banu Zara. Do you know how? I said no. He said have your wife from Banu Zara. I said no. He said go back and get married in Banu Zara. Masur ibn Mukarrama and Abu Jafar Muhammad ibn Ali ibn Hussain also say that Amna bin Tewahab bin Abd Manaf bin Zahra bin Kilab was in the training of her uncle Wahab bin Abd Manaf bin Zahra. Hadrat Abdul Mutlib bin Hashim bin Manaf bin Kuzai took his son Abdullah to his house and asked Amna bin Tewahab for Hadrat Abdullah, which they accepted because of their common ancestry. Hadrat Abdullah Hadrat Abdul Mutlib took Hala, the daughter of Wahab, for himself. Both these contracts took place in the same assembly and in the same sitting. Hadrat Amna bin Tewahab and Hala bin Tewahab were cousins. Hadrat Hamza was born from Hala bin Tewahab. He was the uncle of Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa wasallam in terms of genealogy, but he was the foster brother of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa wasallam in terms of age. It was the custom in Arabia after marriage, bridegroom used to stay with his wife in her house for three days. Muhammad bin Al Sayyib and Abu Al Fayyaz Al Kusay say, when Hadrat Abdullah bin Abdul Mutlib married Amna bin Tewahab, he stayed there for three days. Abdullah bin Abdul Mutlib bin Hashim bin Abd Manaf bin Kuzay bin Kilab. Habib bin Te Amir, wife of Ghazai, Ilyas bin Murdar bin Nazar, all of them were known for their extraordinary beauty. It is narrated that Hashim bin Abad, Manaf and Abdullah bin Mutlib were offered marriage by several women themselves. King of Syria, Kaiser offered Hashim bin Manaf for marriage with his daughter because he had read his description in the gospel. He had seen the light of prophethood on his face, but Hadrat Hashim refused. Once Umay Katal, sister of Farqa bin Nafal, saw Hadrat Abdullah was going along with his father in bazaar. She asked Hadrat Abdullah, where were you going? Hadrat Abdullah replied, this was my father. I was going with him, where should he go? I could not disobey his order, nor could I tolerate separation from him. She inquired him, If you are camel of sacrifice or halter by which you led by someone, she was too much eager to marry with him, among all other women. When she knew that not only marriage ceremony has been held, but also Allah Almighty has decided to bestow light to enlighten the mankind, she recited a very sad poem. But Warqa bin Nawfal was very happy. Here is meaning of one of verse of the sad poem. The light that you brought to me at that time has been separated from you. You came to me yesterday. You had a light. Now you have given it to someone other than I. Now you do your job. Someone asked her, did you remember what you wished from Abdullah? She asked, which wish? He said, you have forgotten yesterday's talk today. She replied, how can I remember now while Abdullah has nothing today? Now what for? In another narration, Hadrat Abdullah asked Umay Kathal if he stands by his previous offer. She replied, no. There was light shining in your face. Now that you have come back, there is no light. Atta ibn Abi Rabbah narrates from Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, when Hadrat Abdullah was going to the tribe of Banu Zahra with his father Abdul Mutlib, on his way a woman 
Fatma binti Maral Kutmiya of tribe Kutum met Hadrat Abdullah. She was soothsayer and had knowledge about the divine books. She was a very young and virtuous woman. She was very popular among the young Quraysh. She saw the light of Prophet on the face of, of Hadrat Abdullah and offered marriage. Hadrat Abdullah recited two poems in reply and went ahead. A few days later, when he met Fatma bin Timar, Hadrat Abdullah did not see the attention that he had received at first. He asked her, If you agree now, the offer still stand. Fatma replied, That was the time but not now. The proverb has become popular since time immemorial. She asked, What did you do? Hadrat Abdullah answered, I got married with Amna bin Wahab. She said, By God, I am a woman whose conduct is not subject to doubt. The fact is that I saw a light of prophethood twinkling on your face. I wished this blessing light might be transferred to me, but God did not want, and he moved to where he was supposed to be.